That's right. I do want to bring back the details with that system that we're watching. Again, it's just on the hills of Tropical Storm Brett and Best 93L, as we mentioned, moving off towards the west, 15 miles per hour. This particular invest is what the National Hurricane Center is now starting to look a little deeper into. It hasn't fully gotten itself together. We don't have that center of circulation, but you're noticing the winds already picking up at around 30 miles per hour as it pushes off towards, say, the west. It's following the same path as Tropical Storm Brett. And that likelihood of that further development is still in play. We have a 70% chance over, say, the next 48 hours, about an 80% chance over the next seven days. Now, we'll continue to watch and see whether the atmospheric con conditions will remain uh, favorable or unfavorable to Invest 93L. You'll notice to the north, we have a little bit of wind shear that's going to be picking up there. But in terms of the water temperatures, they've remained pretty warm, and models have this all following the same path as, as Brett, maybe taking a turn a little closer towards the Lesser Antilles and off towards the north before crossing the Lesser Antilles. But in terms of this invest, this is what we're pretty much dealing with right now, a disturbed area of weather that, as I mentioned, the National Hurricane Center wants to look into a little bit more closely. They have all of their special computer models. They're taking a look at the track. They're trying to see and get a better handle on the potential of that development. And the name and convention of the invest is simply to keep track of the disturbance. When we talk about that naming, you might be thinking to yourself, well, where are we getting 93 from? It's numbered from 90 to 99. And after 99, we reset back to 90. Right now, we're on our third invest of the season. The letter is based on the location. So we look at where we're looking at invest 93L. It's in the Atlantic. If we had invest 93E, it would be East Pacific and C, Central Pacific. But right now, we're dealing with that in the Atlantic. From here on out, here's how the naming would go. So will we see a tropical disturbance? That's where that percentage comes into play. It's really going to be between a disturbance and depression next. And it's really dependent on the mile the uh the organization or either the winds that are associated with the cluster of showers and storms. That's what makes the dip, makes or break it between a depression and a disturbance. Nonetheless, we still even have, you know, the opportunity of a tropical storm, Michael, to be on the table as well. We're only about 10 mile per hour uh, sustained winds away from that category. We'll just have to really continue to watch it. In the event it becomes any of the three, whether it be the depression, the tropical storm, or uh, a disturbance, it would be Cindy in terms of the naming. So we'll watch to see whether or not it makes that tropical storm name storm list, and that will be Cindy up next, just behind Brett. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.